We are in Denver, Colorado at the 2008 Democratic National Convention. Uh, this is absolutely a fantastic opportunity to be here with us. This is a historic campaign, a historic election, uh, and I was fortunate enough to, to be able to play a small part in it. I had the pleasure of having dinner with uh, Senator Obama last year. As luck would have it, someone somewhere remembered me and, and invited me to come and speak. Uh, I'm Mike Wilson, and as a small town Tennessee guy and a registered Republican, I can't tell you what an honor it is to be here today to nominate Barack Obama. To nominate Barack Obama as the next President of the United States. I must have the email ten times to make sure that, first of all, it wasn't a spam, some kind of scam, and then having to keep it quiet for you know a week or so without telling anybody was uh, that that was hard. But um, I'm, I'm really uh, honored to be here, and uh, like I said, the, uh, the initial shock is over with, and now the anticipation of being able to, to speak for three whole minutes in front of, uh, in front of some Democrats is uh, it's great. I support Barack Obama because America needs a president who has the strength, the wisdom, and courage to talk to our enemies and consult with our allies. president who has the judgment to use war as a last resort, not as a first resort. A president who can adapt to new situations as things change, instead of being stuck in the past. And a president who will respect our veterans when they get back home. You know, there's an old saying, if you do what you always did, you'll get what you always got. America needs new leadership in the White House, and that leader is Barack Obama. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor as an Iraq War veteran, as a lifelong Republican, and as a proud citizen of this great democracy to nominate the next President of the United States of America, Barack Obama. So we got voicemails, text messages, seven messages, eight messages, nine messages. In the back of my head, I remembered reading something about the, the speaking tips, and one of them said, as loud as the applause is, you know, as loud as you think the applause is, it may not convey to the people watching on TV, so don't pause too long unless it's just thundering applause. And so I had to sit and think, was that thundering or was that not thundering? <laughs> Even in some small way, uh, none of us, you know, we've all heard our parents talk about uh, the Bobby Kennedy, you know, campaign back in 68, and I never thought in my lifetime I'd have a chance to be a part of that, of anything that was even even remotely resembled that kind of energy and that kind of enthusiasm and that kind of thirst for change, and, and to be part of that here and now in my lifetime, you know, at 33 years old, you know, and to be young and to be part of this, this is absolutely amazing. And, and I, I can't even begin to tell you what an honor it is to, to be here with this. Anything I could do, whether it's getting involved with, with uh, you know, people in, in the campaign for change, you know, helping them, them canvas or helping them register voters, even if it's putting a bumper sticker on my car, doing something to, to make sure that, that uh, America makes the choices that, that it needs to make to, to be competitive and to regain its strength and its place in the world. It was, a, it was an amazing experience, and, and again, I'm just honored to, to be able to have had a part in it.